Earlier we looked at the fact that a resource could have five different charge out rates and those rates were A, B, C, D or E. What I want to show you now is how you assign a resource to a task at a different rate. First of all, let's get rid of the split with the Gantt at the top and the form at the bottom. To get rid of the split, go to the View tab in the ribbon and in the Split View group, untick Details. What I'd like to do now in your view bar on the left hand side of your screen is change to a view called Task Usage. When I go to Task Usage, I'm also viewing the Task Setup Equipment. This is a very good view. The focus is on the Task Setup Equipment and all the resources that are working on that task. At a task level it tells me 33 man hours and that 33 man hours is then broken down into the various resources and how many man hours they're contributing towards this task and the task is taking two and a half days. If I want to assign the bartenders at a different rate than A which is the default I need to insert another column. So for example, I might right click duration and I'll choose the option insert column. I'll then press C to jump down to those fields beginning with C and I'm after the cost rate table. When I click the cost rate table column, I now see a column showing me that all of these resources have been charged at their A rate. If I then want to click on the bartenders, I can change from their A rate to their B rate but I can't really see what that's doing to the cost. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click duration and insert another column, cost. So I hit C. I then click on cost and I can see the cost of the bartenders working on this particular task for 5 hours is $70 at their B rate. If I change that back to their A rate, I can see it's $118. If I change them back to their B rate, which is cheaper, I can see it's only costing me $70. So that's how you assign resources to a task at their different rates. You need to insert the cost rate table column to be able to change it to A, B, C, D or E.